I know you have realized that you're meant for each other, you've already felt the goodness that you have for each other, but there are still many things you have to discover among each other and discover more. What is right in my partner? What is good in my partner? Because when you have that kind of attitude to see the goodness in each other, that goodness will again also spiral out to some other perhaps qualities good qualities in your married life. I'm not sure how many prayers we stormed heaven for you to find Ati J, but it worked. You're a great testimony that all things work together for good to those who love the Lord. You were definitely worth the wait and our answered prayers. Let me take this opportunity to thank you. Thank you for being a real man who never got intimidated with Ate for pursuing her. Thank you for allowing her to bloom and for supporting her of her dreams and aspirations. Thank you for loving her truly madly deeply and for loving my kids too. Thank you for keeping up with her and her mood swings. Thank you for never giving up and for praying with Ate every day despite the LDR. Thank you for giving hope to everyone that true love despite the distance and circumstance can last. As her bestest friend, I'm sharing some best practices in handling her. Number one, when she's sad or just wanting to vent, just hug her tight. You don't need to say anything and eventually she will be fine. Number two, when hugging does not work and she's still sad and tired, pray for her. Allow the Lord to calm her heart and hug her through your prayers. Number three, give her your full attention when she talks to you. Her love language is quality time. So tinkering and playing with your phones will irk her off number four communicate talk it out and be open to each other there, there's no i and you anymore it's we us and always remember that you are a team even though sometimes it feels that you are on different sides yeah at um this is the day that the lord has made and we're very happy and glad that today our answered prayer has been fulfilled by the lord so, um, you know that we love you very much. And <laughs> no, we're, we're just very happy for you and Ryan and we wish you all the best. And we pray that you guys will have a baby girl. If not, <laughs> then we'll have a basketball team. <laughs> love you, Ad. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Mom. <laughs> Sister Red.
Ryan. Uh, I've been friends with Ryan for 11 years. 11 years. Uh, this is a short story. So, uh, Ryan is. I used to know Ryan as a very energetic and wild young man. Uh, during parties, he was the first one to arrive and the first one to sleep. Until one day, he became uh, composed. So I asked him, are you sick? So, long story short, Ryan said, I met this girl. So, I saw the sparkle in his eyes, and I knew that uh, they would be perfect for each other. So, as, as the great uh, German philosopher said, distance is to win what love is to fire. Uh, it kills the small, but it, it, uh, it kindles the great. So, if, if, uh, if, if uh, the fire is uh, small, a, a small gust of wind instantly kills it. But, um, you see what LDR did to them. Proof that the love is there. Uh, good luck, Melo. No. <laughs> I surrender. When I was still single, um, I remember mom and I were walking in SM. It was there was a bridal fair, and I was telling mom, "Mom, I wanted I I want a simple wedding," and she said, "No, I want bonga." No, mom, I want a, a simple wedding. Then we argued. Tapos ngko wait lang mom, wala pa ko boyfriend, so di sa tamaglalis, di ba? Naging anak. So yon. Um, so I'm. So last year, it was really a hard time for Ryan and me because we're really looking forward to be together permanently na and settle down in New Zealand. But looking back, um, I and also shared this to Ryan um, weeks ago. Because um, in well, I was also serving in Lingkod and we used to have our prayer meetings in Archbishop. I said, if I, I get married in Cebu, I want to get married in Archbishop's chapel. So. Um, it has been more parang the reason why we're all here. God does, doesn't just want to give me the wedding that, um, that we were preparing for, but He actually wants to give me the wedding that I want, wanted. Na simple lang with family and closest friends. Because if last year it was a big wedding sana, and this is exactly the wedding that we want. And this would not be possible without our wedding team. I will not call you suppliers because we have been working really hard together um, for all this, all, everything that you see here from prenup to church to here. Parang, this is exactly the, the thing that I envision. For those who know me, I'm very OC, very detailed oriented. So all this planning um, was two years worth of everything in my mind and I'm very happy that this is exactly how I pictured it. So I'm very grateful. Um, Ipa is not here but when we moved the wedding to Cebu, I know that she was the right stylist because she can fulfill my vision. So thank you to Coco Cloud Concepts. More than ever, I can advise Taman sa Mahimo, Taman sa Imo Makaya, ang pinakamadal, pinakadali nga panahon. Kwa Agus Jane. Para, una po, para, madugangan ako nga po, tulo na ako nga po. So, daghan ako badlongon, pero swerte lang yung hapon, di ko kabadlong, di ko kabantay, tabang ang bantay kay to aman mo sa New Zealand, ni Aram ko resibo. Ha? O, oh. mana siya. <laughs> mana siya yan. So, nasako na si Ryan ako, paundangon ako, kagipanggutong na ako ng mga bisita. So, katura kong ika-advise ni mo yan, ariglahan, hibaw na kagunsay mga 
buhat to ni po sa kabana so kana na lang yun wala na gyud koy laing ika pada ika pabaw nimo kay parte kwarta wa sa koy kwarta salamat dengan salamat Charge your glasses. All right. Please, yes. Yeah. Charge your glasses and uh, join me in toasting to the newlyweds. To a life of uh, happiness, contentment, to face all the challenges in life. Cheers. Jean, wear this ring as a sign of my love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Ryan, wear this ring as a sign of my love and loyalty. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. special by finding gestures, small gestures of love. Being able to say, I love you, I love you during unexpected moments. I know of a couple when it's every morning, it's a contest on who will be the first one to wake the partner up by saying, I love you and will kiss that is the way. I know of a, of a husband who constantly writes small messages and even reminders and posts it anywhere in the house. When the, when the wife will open the toilet seat, there's the message coming from the husband. Again, that's the way. Ryan and Jane, find your own way to realize the value of each other in this relationship. She gave her heart for missions doing some charity works to the least and unfortunate people. And through that, she can tell how Jesus are loved, uh, how Jesus loved them all through her. But, something, but still something was missing. And so I said, Lord, make her happy. And he did. And she finally met you, Ryan. You see that pretty face in her look, uh, uh, pretty look at her face. I never knew that until she met you. 
and I, I, want, I am grateful for that. Today, I'm giving you the best that I have to give. And I just want you to know before I do that. How hard for me to let her go. And so, Ryan, as I gave her to you kanina, I don't think you will mind if I give you one last word of advice. I lost a daughter today, but I, I gained a son, a second son. Me and God work for her. So please take care of her and love her to the best of your life. Welcome to the family. a warrior. You are the captain of the ship now and I'm sure you will steer your own family into safety regardless of the storms that you will be facing. Number six, continue to pray together. Pray for your dreams and goals and allow the Lord to continue to work His miracles in your lives. And number seven, lastly, this is last, know that you can always run to me when you need help. You will always be my favorite brother-in-law. Welcome to the complicated, messy, challenging, but beautiful world of married life. We love you, Ray.
Jane Frischen, do you take Brian Lauren here present for your lawful husband according to the right of our Holy Mother, the Church? I do. Do you give yourself to him as his wife? I do. Do you accept him as your lawful husband? I do. Ryan Lauren, do you take Jane Christian here present for your lawful wife according to the right of our Holy Mother, the Church? I do. Do you give yourself to her as her husband? I do. Do you accept her as your lawful wife? Jane, also, I believe your family, respective families, are also happy for you. And for now, I would, in a way, remind you that this is the day that you should be proud of your parents. In the past, your parents have been proud of you, for what you have accomplished in your life. But today, it's giving back because you cannot be the person that you are. You cannot have the career that you have now if not for your parents. So my dear brothers and sisters, we continue to pray. We pray for Ryan and Jane as they embark on a new life, another chapter in their life not written by J.K. Lawrence, but they themselves will be the author. Never forget this feeling 